and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some LeBlanc said Jawani. That's right, we're playing a Freljord Noxus deck that does not have Ash in it. You would think that with these regions we're playing Ash, but no, we're playing LeBlanc and Sejuani together instead. And I think that could be kind of cool. So we've got lots of twos in here. Sentry, Archer, Drummer, Glory Seeker, especially Drummer. That's going to be kind of part of our deck is going to be um, Quick Attack and Challenge. So like we'll have the Legion Drummer Glory Seeker combo, which is an awesome one. We're also playing two Caught in the Cold that Frostbites an enemy and gives it vulnerable. And so that's going to be important with uh, Quick Attack and things like that too. Or just regular challengers. We got Reckless Trifarian, which giving Reckless Trifarian quick attack means they really don't want to block it. And uh, of course, it can't block itself, but it's still that five attack does a lot of damage really fast. I think something that, that's pretty cool um, could be this Fielder Rush at the top end, putting in LeBlanc and Sejuani as 10 tens. Because then, if you got to just deal 15 damage to level up LeBlanc, <laughs> if you have 10 tens, that 15 damage comes very quickly. So I feel like that could be pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> we have like some different units that our opponents just don't want to block, right? Like Trifarian, you just don't want to block that. Sentry, you don't want to block that. Omenhawk, you don't really want to block that. And so like with these different things that they don't want to block, if they're not blocking it, then we're going to be able to turn on our shared spoils and uh, get some good buff and card advantage in there too. So it's kind of like a, an aggressive deck, um, but you know, we have some powerful top end looks pretty interesting to try. You know, we're playing a lot of cards that we don't play that often, so I think that could be pretty interesting. So let's give it a try. LeBlanc Sejuani. All right, we're playing Braum Vi. Speaking of decks that you don't see too often, that's a pretty tough deck. Good blockers. Love Drummer plus Glory Seeker. I'm just going to keep this. Because this card in the cold's good with, with, like, Legion Drummer where usually your Legion Drummer supports, but then they block your Legion Drummer and kill it. But if you have Caught in the Cold, you can have the Legion Drummer have Challenger as well. All right, so they're a Poro deck. That makes sense with Braum and Vi together. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, the old Elusive Fury Poro. So normally I'd be playing Glory Seeker here, but I kind of want to just play this 5-4 and just smash in with a 5-4. Because I don't really need to use Caught in the Cold to protect Drummer against, like, these little things. Alright, so good call just playing the 5-4. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you can get a lot of anti-aggro with the deep regions, which, especially with Shadow Isles. Really what Deep has struggled with is the, the Targon decks with, like, Hush and Obliterates and Celestials that are bigger. And elusive. You gotta start believing, caretaker. See, most of the times you don't believe you can win, you gotta. That's what you gotta do. You gotta start believing. And once you start believing, don't stop believing. As a great man once said. Requires a sharp blade. Life steal, poor robot. Face me. The spoils of war. The surprise, never expected, spoils of war. Oh no, they had their own spoil of the war. It was a surprise they never expected. Well, this doesn't look good. And yeah, I could play the Icefill Archer for a blocker. You're maybe thinking, why don't I just play that? But then, like, they just challenge, like, that gives them a very good challenge with the Icefill Archer. But I guess they already have good challenges now. All right, so we have to wait till turn nine to play this card. That's so many turns from now. Vi stands for violence. Winter, take you. First, we fight. Taketh. 
Who says the word taketh? Has anybody just said the word taketh? Don't think we're going to be winning this game. My opponent has two champions. I have zero champions. That's usually a pretty big difference in this game. So they, they certainly... They really should have just challenged the crowd favorite, and then they would have had two free attacks here with the lifesteal and everything, but... I don't think that that's going to make the difference, right? Like, I... I don't think we're gonna win now because they didn't do that. Time to make an appearance. The people are my strength. This problem's just gonna shut me down. You never know with Feel the Rush coming. Noxus, charge. If I fall, so they don't have any mana. Cut him down. I'm not getting any younger. Well, I'm getting older. You are safe with Brawl. Take 16. Be plotting, hmm? So we want to... Okay, so next turn's going to be turn 8. We need to save 3 spell mana for this Fielder Rush. That means we we want to draw something that costs 5 or less mana. So, best case scenario is something that draws like... Costs like 5. But we don't even have a unit that costs exactly 5. So... You know, we got a bunch of things that cost like two. Best draw for next turn would be like Noxion Guillotine? Maybe? Question mark? Get back here. <laughs> Where are you at? 10 out of 15? Oh, so close. We're so close to getting an ephemeral. Oh, there's guillotine. I wasn't expecting that to work. Eat. Eat and grow strong. Fate brings us together. So LeBlanc sees herself die and still makes a mirror image for you? That's kind of cool. Let's go. Time to feel the rush. Matters what order we attack in. Mirror image is like ephemeral too. Slow speed. Uh. All right, that will do. Ten, ten, Sejuani. It was inevitable. Now what could you be plotting? I played against this exact champion combination yesterday, so maybe this is the same opponent. I 
well, that's a good hand to shuffle and drop over new cards. That Gary Nemo. Pretty good. Okay. 6 5 Trifarian. Nothing escapes I'll take it. Watch. The spirit gives to those who listen. For the hand! Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Get him, 6 5. Um, I don't know if it's a catastrophe deck. It was basically like this. It was like, this is what they had last time. It was like, I, the dragon, ballistic bot, Victor. And you know, like, Victor and ballistic bot making the free spells for I, the dragon. So they play the two spells, they get the Dragling. So we know that they... Blah, 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 blah. We know that they have the MK2 to kill the Glory Seeker. The world awaits. Forward. Safety disengaged. Fire till nothing moves. The MKs work really well in here of like giving, you know, because we talked about this uh, before um, whenever I played the Ezreal Swain deck. I talked about like the good parts about the MK card is you have, um, you end up with less cards but more mana than normal. And so that pairs really well with Ballistic Bot because, you know, you if you have more mana, Ballistic Bot is... a very good way to use that mana plus ballistic bot generates the cards for you so those work well together I salute you. System upgrade. join me if you want to live This Eye of the Dragon is just destroying me. I gotta challenge it. It's a great combination, Eye of the Dragon and Ballistic Bot together. Especially against decks that are trying to attack. Time to make an like ours. A child's anger has become a man's will. In Avarosa's name! I'm playing around. Show them the might of Noxus! Face me! Yeah, they have the MK2. We know about that. So I'm trying to play around the MK2. As far as, like, killing these two things is concerned. Okay, so they're just going to go out to LeBlanc. That's fine with me. Kill both of those. Because those two cards were really uh, putting a pretty big hindrance on me. At the dragon will. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. I'm guessing only you can quell the wind, too. Yeah, I think their deck is good. I think they have a very well put together deck. Um, I, I like the four champion idea. Where you don't have to be like all in on Lee Sin. All in on Heimerdinger. 
you know you have a good combination depending on like what um, what's happening in the in the games. You get to mix it up. Sure, if it makes sense to play Glory Seeker first. Like from from here, it doesn't look like we can like that we're gonna possibly win. Like these these cards don't beat Lee Sin in spells, and so like especially now that okay, yeah, yeah, we're not winning this game. From here. would be foolish to underestimate you. So yeah, I think my opponent's done a, a good job building their deck. The future is steel and I should have done an emo, a good game emo. Alright, Azir and Kindred. <laughs> cool. So yeah, we got Dresbo in here, the, the opponent we just played. Um, so their list started out as Classic Vimer, which is really cool. I've been working on it since last season. So Zir Kindred. I guess I'm just mulligating everything. I mean, I could keep Troll Chant, but we just don't really have the units to support. But Troll Chant, as we know, is just a really great spell. I think I think we can keep that, because if we don't find the unit still, we're probably not winning anyway. And so, you know, like if, if we needed this Troll Chant to find a unit, that's probably a bad sign for us and as you can Nothing see from the cards that we have drawn this looks like a bad sign um all right prediction started Doesn't it feel like my opponent didn't finish their username? Like they accidentally hit submit before they wanted to. It's the clan of a what? Hmm. Could be anything. Clan of a badger bear. All right, let's get the shared spoils. Not the best card to hit with shared spoils, but that's okay. Do I want to spoils of war legion drummer? Sure. We'll just have five six legion drummer. Well, we got our plunder enabled. The clan of a uh, drummer seekers. Thirteen. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Could be going Black Spear. Have the troll chance to try to stop a Black Spear. They're on Kindred Azir. I need just a moment. Safeguard, you're mine. This Glory Seeker too quick. Hmm. Alright, I guess that works. Shared Spoils was nice. The people are my strength. I don't know if I've seen that greedy of Thresh Nasus with... I guess I have seen it with Undying, yeah. But yeah, Undying and Rekindler. That's pretty greedy, but yeah, that definitely makes it better against slower control decks, for sure. Okay, let's... So this 2-1's gonna die. That means the 2-1 can just block. 
Do I want to cotton the cold something? Kinda. I guess. Let's do a little frostbiting. Ready the torches. Look out for reavers. Light the signal fire. Alert the villains. Oh, that was unexpected. Sharpen I should probably get used to Ruination with Undying. All right, Glory Seeker. <laughs> it's all you. Hopefully you could... All right, there we go. I was going to say, hopefully three troll chants can help you survive. All right. No vengeance. Kind of mitigate Kindred's success, but I, I like it. It's a, it's a good card. Aurelian Soul, Jarvan, Zoe. And that's a combination. So we're going Drummer on 2, Trifarian 3, Trifarian 4 attack. Pretty bad against Zoe, so just pass the turn, thank you. And Drummer is basically just generic 3 2 with no attacks. Cool. I'll just take that trade. 3 2 Challenger is always very useful. Ooh, maybe they go Equinox. Or, yeah, Equinox. Maybe they Equinox my. Reckless Trivarian. Dude, that would be that would be big game for them. Come on. Oh, they didn't do it. Why did they just Equinox the Trivarian? Gotta get rid of that can't block. Hmm. Maybe we need to play a Zoe Reckless Trivarian deck ourselves. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to start equinoxing our own Trifarians. They attack into it, and we we hush our Trifarian in the block, the strength of the and just surprise them. They never expect it. I don't think that they have a fight spell, considering they didn't just use the fight spell with the Sunforger I was frostbiting. Okay, well, I guess they do. Carve a path. I will fight for Demacia till the day I die. That's a long time. Single combats are great. Winter, take you. They could have just played Gem Gem and attacked for lethal. had tricks galore. All those single combats.
to honor the fallen. Yeah, I guess I may just have to use Sejuani here. All right, so I play like this sentry. Three three challenges three three. I block there. I, yeah, so I'm going to one. Bow to no one. That's a, that's a quality card to hit there for that Eclipse Dragon. Show them our teeth. Alright, we're down to one. Alert the villains. Need to top deck another frostbite card. Thank you. Targon, Demacia, still the best regions. Okay, we got a mirror match, but they got Ash. We got Set 20. Like the double Omen Hawk start. I thought about just mulliganing the LeBlanc and putting it back. Um, you know, trying to have it, have it be more likely to be able to draw it like right after these Omen Hawks. But with the caught in the cold, it'll probably make sense to keep it. Now the real thing is. We march as one, an unstoppable force. You know, do I play LeBlanc here where then I can't caught in the cold? I could Omen Hawk caught in the cold. We're not leveling up LeBlanc. But I'm expecting them to play Legion Marauder. What do we got here? I want to kill Legion Marauder. Remember why we fight. So they have two cards that save it, but Elixir of Iron doesn't save it, but they still, you know, Troll Chant and Brittle Steel both save it. to go. People to be. Not ready. Oh man, that's a big Trifarian. Nothing can stop me. That's kind of messy with the rest of my hands. That's a pretty big Trifarian, though. A chill in the air. That did not work out. Victory. If it's a fight they want. Formation. All right, Sejuani on top. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Turned out, just playing 1-1s one and no removal, not going to work against Legion Marauders. Alright, so our, Le our Le LeBlanc said 20 deck only went 2-3, and three, but I guess the um, good part about that is that uh, we had the synergy of 2-3-2s two and 2-2-3s. Two, two, 
and it was okay. It felt like, you know, maybe we could use a little bit more top end in the deck. Um, the Spoils of War really underperformed as far as some cards go. We could have definitely used some removal, which our deck just doesn't play anything besides Guillotine, really, for removal. That's the only card. I don't know. It was okay. Caught in the Cold underperformed. Like, the, the Vulnerable just isn't, you know, it's just not that reliable. Yeah, I think that as far as, like, Noxus... Um, for all your decks go, I think that like my opponent's deck with like the Legion Marauders and stuff was probably a little better, but that's okay. I want um, LeBlanc just isn't LeBlanc just isn't as good as Ash. I like Sejuani a lot though. Sejuani always looks good. I think that people play. I think in general, like like look at like my opponent's deck, like they were playing LeBlanc Ash. I think people play too much LeBlanc right now and not enough Sejuani. I think Sejuani's a, a much better card. I know it costs three more mana, but I just I I, th I think very highly of Sejuani and and LeBlanc, with all the Mystic shots running around and how easy this thing is to die, just hasn't been as impressive. So I think even that like even that Marauder deck, I think it should probably be Ash Sejuani. You like LeBlanc a lot in that deck? Yeah, maybe playing a combination of the two and having three different champions. All right, but there we go. So um, that was LeBlanc Sejuani. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of LeBlanc um, just in general or in that Legion Marauders deck or in this deck or anything like that, um, you know, or anything else. I'd appreciate it. All right, but that's all I got here for LeBlanc Sejuani. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Oh, and puppy saying bye too. Puppy say bye to everybody. Bye to everybody.